All right. Now I want you to bring to mind one of your parents who you have a relationship with that feels less than peace. A parent who you can bring to mind and that parent brings you feelings of either fear, anger or grief. Bring that parent to mind now and listen and watch the feeling that comes up and see where it is in your body and watch it and listen to it. We're not trying to accomplish anything in this task. We're simply noticing the feeling that comes up and where it is in the body and allowing it to be there and allowing ourselves to be with it. Okay, now what I would like you to do is cast your gaze upon your life and look for an event in your life that you regard as being traumatic, an event that you know is unresolved to this day. Take a look at that event and see the physical aspects of it, the story you have told yourself, and that underlying this event there too is a feeling, right? An emotional signature is what we will call it. And that this also brings up a feeling, a physical feeling in your body when you allow that emotional signature to enter your memory. So allow yourself to feel that. That trauma in your life that was unresolved. Allow yourself to feel it. Where is it in your body? Allow yourself to be with it and allow it to be there. Watch it and listen to it without placing any conditions upon it. Okay, that's good enough. Now, what we have done here is we've looked at an upset, at maybe a parent, and maybe a trauma in our life, three different aspects of our life experience. And we've noticed that these different aspects all have emotional signatures to them. And these emotional signatures can be found through physical sensations that they also bring up in the body when we bring them into our memory. We can think of these as notes in a melody that we do not like to listen to, right? Those emotional signatures, those feelings, are notes in a melody. And they also correspond to physical places in our body. That when we bring those notes up, we feel those physical places in our body come into our awareness. What we may not realize is that tune with those notes is playing all the time, 24 hours a day. And those physical aspects in our body are feeling those kinds of energetic situations or discomforts 24 hours a day. It's just that when we are in the mental aspect of our life, when we are busy with lots of physical activity, we suppress and sedate our awareness of those notes, those particular emotional signatures. And so we don't feel the impact it's having on our body. However, because that's going on in our body all the time, we have behaviors in our life that are based on trying to feel better. These behaviors are what we can call doings. Things we do in our life that come out of an attempt to sedate and control our awareness of this discomfort that's going on in our body all the time. So this is the first pincer movement. We want to address this particular melody.